your name, please? My name is Oleksiy Alessio Bondarenko. And your father worked in Chernobyl uh, at the time of the catastrophe? Yes, he was working in Chernobyl worker. He built a road to fix this issue where this was happened. Él trabajaba allí y fue uno de los que estuvo a cargo entonces de fijar eh, parte de la construcción que estaba desarrollándose allí. And what happened to your father? Is he alive? Yes, he's still alive. And now he uh, builder in uh, other country in Europe. And uh, his colleagues, they are almost done, no, goes, pass away. And uh, he's still alive. preguntando si el padre vive. Y me dice, sí, mi papá vive. Pero la mayoría de sus colegas murieron. Eh, has he had the chance to go back to Chernobyl or never more? Uh, nobody asking him to come after this happened, but we have the chance using a uh, Google Earth, uh, you know, yeah. where you we investigate yeah, yeah. The, these photos, and uh, only this chance. Eh, le preguntamos si tuvo la oportunidad de volver allí. Nos dice que no, que solamente lo que pudo es ver a través del Google. Eh, eh, bueno, lo que pasó allí. Y qué piensa? What uh, does he think about the whole story and the way people was cheated uh, on by the authorities then? Uh, it's a question to him what the, he is thinking. But we, as a new generation, we know some facts and uh, we did many, many research when we go there, when we investigate that place, and we have our like um, objective view it's very strange because when people from China come to that territory mm -hmm. they see absolutely different pictures than Ukrainian people eh, interesante lo que le preguntaba le preguntamos si eh, el padre le dijo algo de lo que pensaba acerca de cómo lo engañaron dijo que no yo no sé qué es lo que él piensa pero sí sé lo que nosotros eh, pensamos porque estamos investigando hemos investigado y conocemos eh, la historia fundamentalmente de Chernobyl. And what do you think about the, what happened there and the aftermath of the story? Uh, could you repeat a few yeah, last words? Yeah, what do you after? think about the aftermath, the consequences of the story and uh, the knowledge of the story by, I mean, the future generation, I mean, at the present time? Mm -hmm. um, I can, I can tell a few sí. words about yeah. quantum reality, yeah. like a parallel time yeah, yeah. spending uh, and uh, what's happened and how it's uh, reflect on our yeah. lives is it was like a local uh, conflict between times and different realities is is like a fantastic story um, of like views the quantum okay. physics like that uh, that's interesting and like mix of uh, realities para ellos es una mezcla entre la realidad y la ficción entre lo que pasó allí, lo que conocemos, lo que la gente dice y que lo que nosotros eh, sabemos. Last question. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Chernobyl an issue which is really present at the present time in people like you, young people in Ukraine? Um, I, sorry, I don't get the, the yeah. main Is meaning? that, I mean, a story, a history, an issue which is important for you, people take that into account for you, the new generation? Yes, yeah, very important, I think, and uh, uh, we feel freedom to talk about this history, not only in the context of history wi while years yeah, happen, yeah. but also with, uh, I with this unreal uh, details. Okay. Yeah, it's very important to know and to let, you, to let people think about that. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to have you, Thank you uh, in our uh, program. Thank you. Eh? Yes, thank you. Thank you and welcome to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>